whenever it comes to innovation, when we talk about innovation, it's, uh, you know, three things come to our mind. Uh, if you put it very s in a simplistic manner, uh, any innovation, particularly in business community, innovation happens because of three things. One is the customer. And for our scenario, it's not just the user, but also the non-user. Because what uh, the business wants to do, they just do not want to retain the existing customers, they want to go for new customers. Similarly, in our case, users is one integral part of innovation for us. The second integral part of innovation is technology today. And most of the businesses have thrived because of technology. Now, if you look at the billionaires of the world, and also in India, it's technology that has made them really rich and powerful and uh, so important. So the second uh, part of innovation, integral part of innovation, uh, is supposedly technology today. And this has been the case in the last uh, two centuries or so. Ever since the French Revolution happened, technology was the reason for French Revolution. And we have seen many revolutions. And uh, you know, Dr. Vijay Kumar, who is here, would tell you that uh, probably information technology revolution is the fourth revolution or fifth. Uh, we don't know the number, but uh, it's part of the chain of revolutions. So the technology is uh, quite key. And the third one is the marketplace, where we exist. Because we are always in competition with somebody. Coca-Cola is in competition with Pepsi. Or uh, Indian Premier League is in competition with Indian Hockey League. Rajinikant is in competition with Kamala Hassan. Or Shah Rukh Khan is in competition with uh, Salman Khan. So we are always in, into this competitive world. So competition becomes the third integral part of innovation. So if we, if we talk about innovation, we need to talk about marketplace. We need to talk about our users. We need to talk about technology. When I first started my librarianship in 1983, I had a sir, a professor called Sam Jabin Manohar. He came from a place called uh, Munar, something similar to this kind of a resort uh, place where uh, this person came and in, in the very first class. Uh, interestingly, we had uh, a paper called Research Methodology in our undergraduation program. And the very first class that I attended in my undergraduation program was uh, research methodology. And he said to me, uh, he said to the 15 of us, he asked uh, this question actually. He asked us, when do we do research? We were all wondering, when do we do research? Okay. We had all sorts of answers. But he said, we do research the moment we come out of our mother's womb, when we are born, the very next second we do research. And that has stayed on my mind. You know, a child researches to actually breathe. Because it was so safe inside the tummy of the mummy, it was very safe. The mummy could do everything for the baby. But the moment uh, the baby comes out and the placenta is, uh, you know, uh, disconnected, the baby researches. Actually, it cries. It researches to find out, how do I breathe now? Now I am left alone. I am I'm all alone in this world. How do I breathe? Because breathing is the only essence of life, right? Then it starts crying. The only way to breathe as a baby is to start crying. That's why many midwives become really anxious when the baby doesn't cry. Roya, Roya, baby Roya, you know? So when it comes to innovation, I, I didn't know what I should be speaking, but uh, on the way I was thinking about uh, things. But I, then I said, OK, you know, now, um, you know, li uh, what they say, the librarian is the best Google, or uh, no, Google can give you a 1,000 answers, that the librarian can give you the only answer, right? So I was looking at the Google, and I, I looked at uh, these terms. Innovation relates to ingenuity motivation, 
ideas, vision, goals, strategy, focus, method, creativity, design, teamwork, capabilities, lot of words. So when Sam Jabin Manohar asked me what was research, we, we didn't have an answer. But if somebody asks you what is innovation, you also really would stumble. OK, I simplified by saying that innovation happens when you understand the marketplace, uh, which is competitive, when you understand the user who is demanding, when you understand the technology, which is very dynamic. Uh, it's a very simplistic way of looking at uh, innovation. But when it comes to innovation, it has complex words. And from today, you are going to like, I learned what research was all about in that small example of a baby crying and uh, you know, researching to basically breathe. You are going to learn everything. And the people who are going to teach you, <laughs> rather coach you or mentor you, are uh, Mr. Shivakumar, Ms. Sudha Mukherjee, Ms. Neeti Saxena, Ms. Ms. Um, Amrinda Gilkaur, Mr. Uh, Mr. Karthikeyan, who is uh, not present with us, Dr. Vijay Kumar. Uh, these are the people who are going to enable you to understand all these words. You know, I simply rattled around ingenuity, motivation, ideas, vision, goals. But uh, let me frankly tell you, before I understood what Inali was all about, these were mere words for me also. Ideas, I took it for granted. OK, idea to sabko aata hai. I took it for granted. Vision, I took it for granted. Somebody else's job. Vision is not my job. It's somebody else's job. Goals, goal setting, OK. Somebody else will set the goals, and I would follow. Design, all these were mere words for me. But today, as somebody who is uh, associated, uh, uh, a fortunate person to be associated with MS Swaminathan Research Foundation, I'm really glad that I do understand some of these things. So from today onwards, you are, you are going to relate yourselves with all these words. A word about MS Swaminathan Research Foundation, which uh, my colleague, uh, Ms. Nancy Annabel, would uh, elaborate to you in a, in a while. But it's one of the most innovative organizations in the world. And Professor Swaminathan himself should be termed as the most successful innovator of the world. When India was with a begging bowl, India was not producing enough of grains for its own consumption. Professor Swaminathan turned around the situation through his uh, green revolution, again through technology, through marketplace, and uh, the user is the citizen of India, he turned around. He brought in innovation into this country. And together with the Punjab farmers and uh, in that belt, he started growing things to the extent that India has become an export nation, from an import nation where we used to import uh, wheat and uh, other material. And I, as a child, I used to be looking at those uh, supplies that came from the United States of America, which said uh, children from the children of the United States of America to the children of India. That's how we actually borrowed, begged food from outside the world. And today, we are an importing nation, thanks to the innovation and innovative culture Professor Swaminathan brought in. So you are going to be associated with this uh, enormous organization, MSSRF, because they are the ones who are going to facilitate and take us along this path. So that's, that's something that uh, you should be really, really proud of. If as librarian nobody cared for you, today, believe, believe me that MSSRF cares for you. That's why they took such a pain in uh, going to the nook and corners to pick you the chosen ones, like Jesus Christ went around and uh, picked his disciples, MSSRF picked each one of you because you are going to transform the world. The 12 disciples transformed uh, the world and brought in Christianity. But uh, from today onwards, the 22 of you are going to transform the Indian public library movement. Otherwise, there's no hope. Don't 
expect Mahesh Sharma sitting in uh, Delhi as the culture minister to transform public libraries. Don't expect uh, your education minister of your state to transform public libraries. Don't expect your district magistrate to transform your public libraries. It's you. You are the chosen ones. And uh, you've been chosen by MSSRF thanks to Nancy, Priyanka, Siranjyoti, Roja Rani, Rajkumar, and um, uh, Shri, Shri Vasu, Vasu, Srinivasan, and uh, my, the, the All Woman Friday, Aruna. So thank you so much. Thank you for you know, giving me the right, uh, uh, an opportunity to be a part of this process. And I hope to learn together with you, because al although I rattled all these words, these words change their meanings according, according to the context. Vision changes according to the context. In demonetization, we realize that. Initially, it was demonetization, then it became remonetization. Initially, it became corruption, then it became digital cash. So vision changes according to the situation. It's a, that's how we survive, right? So all these words, although I may have some idea about these words, when I sit with you, when I sit with you, when I sit with each one of you, I may discover a new meaning. It's something like uh, what they kill, what, what they say. Um, if anybody is an atheist, please forgive me, but uh, those who are religious would uh, agree with me that uh, God inspires us to read the inscription, which is the scripture, whichever religion we belong to, Islam, Christianity, Hinduism, Sikhism, whichever religion, Jainism, God inspires us to read the inscription, and that inspiration continues to interpret that inscription to our life. We interpret. And each one interprets in its own context, in her or his own context, in his, his or her own way. Similarly, these words are going to, through the mentors who are going to inspire us, we are going to look at these words and the program that we are going to take along and interpret it. What is interpretation? One simple agenda. Let's change the public library world. Thank you.